Good afternoon, guys. This is my herbaceous bowl of beauty peony. It has a lot of buds right now. What I'm here for is to show you my imperial tree peony. That's her. Look at the blooms. It is wide open right now. They are very fragrant as well. I love it. Now during the winter, these three peony, the um, little trunks right there, peonies, the three peonies, they won't, they won't like completely die off. They just stay like that during the winter. They hibernate, and during spring, they just create this um, flowers blooms beautiful look at that and after the blooms they just stay evergreen until autumn again and then the cycle begins look at that look. first color is pink when it's just a round ball when it open, they turn white. Yeah. I love this flowers. And these are my geraniums. They are growing massive already. Look at that. Started planting it so small. And now, my goodness, look at that, they have a tiny blooms, but they come in a clumps like this. Gorgeous, they just started, they just started um, in a mass blooming, and they last longer too. And look at this dark pink azalea here. Year after year. Just making me all these blossoms. This one I can't detect any scent. It's unscented. There's a big bumblebee in there. Harvesting some pollens. You can hear it, but it went away. My goodness. And there are so many ferns in here that I'd like to get rid of. This one. My, my. They are spreading like wildfire. Look at those ferns. They're not supposed to be there. There. And some... Geranium in the middle of the fern bed, fern bed. Yes, look at this. I want to get rid of them. So hard. And this is the first of my rhododendron that blooms. In this area, I have one, three. Rhododendrons here and a couple in the front of my house but this is the first one that always bloom my head there it goes look at the, the individual blossom aren't they gorgeous they have spots I just love watching them. They're everywhere. Oh my goodness. Eh? And I have started 
to take out here my um orchids hanging I'm thinking of um maybe in Saturday I'm thinking of um, putting all my vendas out here in this table now and the uh, the rest of my orchids cattleyas like that and I will put the sprinklers on just practice them we'll see um, if it's gonna work yeah been hanging them in there in the old swing let's see and that's my um um my favorite fresh snacking vegetables that's the sweet peas i love it i'm gonna put some um beans um bush beans in there after i film yeah everything is getting greener in here update on my lilacs even though oh, it was so raining so badly the first few days they still managed to stay stay blooming this this one's about done oh yeah this one here I got the bud uh, but effect from the rain look at that so much raining so much water this one's still good yeah and the grass are started to get longer again so much rain oh this is my maxillaria tinifolia getting bushier and bushier yep these are the first one that I put in here today outside oh, I'll show you this hosta look at this hosta guys look at that isn't that gorgeous and I have the red um, azalea down there and the ground cover periwinkles are blooming but look at this hosta look at the variegation of that variegated leaves big clumps this is my fourth American persimmons right here so small because the ground here is not good it's a lot of, there's a lot of rocks in here so stayed small I'm showing you the leaves. Gorgeous, very healthy hosta in there. Wow. I hope it's gonna bloom this year. This uh, dendrobium amabile. Yeah, I still have a lot of um, space in here to hang more orchids. Yeah. There's a lot of space. The grapes are doing well. Gorgeous. These are my latest. I forgot the name, but it's a um, red color. The leaves in the latest, and that right there is a a bunch of bok choy. I was heavy-handed when I with the seeds you know I just just drop a bunch of seeds that was my seeds too from last year you know I sprinkled so many <laughs> seeds um, I took some uh, of the seedlings put it in the pots so that I can get some good ones and that's the garlic in the background and these clumps of tomatoes in here these are volunteer 
like the from last year the squirrel keeps stealing some of my tomatoes and they don't eat the whole thing and they throw them away everywhere so this one is just growing bunch of tomatoes I'm thinking of keeping some of this but throw away a bunch of them yeah and I have some cucumbers in there different kind of cucumbers it's just um sprouting yeah the one that's some cucumbers and this one here too yeah and I created something in here a circle of tomatoes heirloom tomatoes two different kind yeah that's a celery because I, I started from the leftover from the store. Yeah. The avocado got sunburned because I'm too tired to acclimate it. Too lazy to really acclimate them. I have another hosta over there. Yeah. The same kind. I just love the variegation in the leaves. These are my strawberries. I was gonna get rid of them, but well, let me open it. There. I put this in here because I also inserted some seeds in here. The sweet peas. Yeah, the one that has this trellis. It has green uh, sweet peas in it. Yeah, and look at the. The strawberries they came back again and this time it has a lot of blooms that's gonna turn into fruits yeah that. in this bed it has some um, garlic as well two different kind of garlic this one uh, this, this, I think this is the soft neck variety, I think. And that one over there, there's three in the group. There's elephant garlic. Elephant garlics. These are elephant garlic in this line. Yeah. Look at them. Mm, that one out there is so fat. More strawberries. Yeah. Look at that, more strawberries. And I have strawberries in this pot. This one reserved for the animals. Birds and squirrels and woodchucks. Yep. And that's my kiwi. Just in this old um, trash barrel. been here for like many years I think five years I think five or six years but no flowers yet Look at that. I planted this um, two of them male and female kiwi they're um, winter hardy or cold hardy rather yeah and they're the hairless one that's the inside the little greenhouse I just put out my Hoyas in there three Hoyas and there's a pot of strawberries right there <laughs> oh well and this is the lemon I need to harvest them and make some lemonade pretty soon and maybe cut some of this, um, reshape this because I don't like the shape of this one leaning all over on one side. Yeah, I'm gonna. I have some uh, cow manure and compost bags in here to add some in my 
potted apple, apple tree, uh, and then I'm um, put in the garden bed upstairs for um my bush beans. Yeah, With this one here. These are the compost and cow manure. Yep. This lemon, so pretty, pretty color. This is the one that has personality. Look at that. It looks like a boy. <laughs> Look at this, guys. There are more strawberries in here in the middle of the. I mean, this bed in here used to be all strawberries. Then I give it up for because the animals destroyed. I don't even get to harvest them. So I planted one thornless candy raspberry here and look how dense they are now in just three years yeah and that's where my um one of my American persimmon just started leaping out now and that's another American persimmons there yeah and a cherry tree but look at this can be raspberries And the older strawberries are still there. Look at that. They're blooming. Hmm. There it goes. More of this. Cool. And my bleeding heart has started blooming. And this is just the beginning. It's gonna turn into big bush, bushy plants. This uh, the fern, like the fern leaf, bleeding hearts over there. My goodness, and the yellow rose are doing well. Beside the peach tree, yeah. Look at them. What's greener now? And this is the. I'm gonna spray them again today. Get rid of the. Listen, guys, this is the scale. This, I wanna get rid of this. I don't like them. Yeah, these are scale. Oh, I hate those. Can't be there. I won't allow it. Otherwise, I'm gonna, if I can't contain that scale, I'm just gonna get rid of them. I don't. That's a um, three and one citrus plants. Yeah. My goodness. That's my apple tree right there. Plenty of um, fruits. Oh my These are the apple in here. They're forming fruits and some of them are just gonna fall out. They, they're not all gonna make it. They're, they're doing the thinning by themselves. Yeah, right there. But this one here are the well form and will thinned out um, plum fruit they're just naturally um, getting rid of the one that's the useless fruit there's some apples I planted them to, um, close together because I don't have big space in here in this side of the yard yeah well, look at that The branch that I can reach. This branch is here is mine. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap some and then when they become bigger than this, I'm gonna wrap up something in it and that would I would declare to the animals that it's mine. Yeah, like this one in the tip. That should be easier to put some net netting there. Yeah. Like that.
There are more of that, guys. More. More, more. Plenty of fruits. My goodness. Okay, guys. I don't want this video to take so long. I'm gonna show you the full extent of that tree. It's supposed to be a dwarf tree, but I think it's long, um, taller than 10 feet. Oh. I don't think that's dwarf now. That's the uh, plum and that's the apple right there. Yeah. Yeah. This my box hedge. The roses. We really pushed that towards the side because um, we lost the trellis right here. So I'm gonna have to get a new trellis. Yeah. And this is my um, clematis. Yeah, they are budding. And there's an Asian pear right there too. Yeah. Look at that. My goodness. It's pretty green in my surrounding now, guys. This is my other lemon tree, I think. Yeah. And that one there is my favorite side of the garden because I have plenty of flowers in there. Got rose bushes and a lot of stuff. Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Bye.